Hello everybody! In today's video I will show you how to convert currencies and units using a CDS view. In this example we convert different currencies into US dollars and convert miles into kilometers. So I create a CDS view here with the table as flight and I insert all elements here but for my example I only need the price and the currency. So next I write the function currency conversion and here I have to pass some parameters. First the amount, here I pass the column price, next the source currency and here I pass the column currency. In the table as flight we have different currencies, currencies to convert. Then I set the parameter round and my target currency is US dollars. Then I need the exchange rate date. In my example I use the uh, current system date so I can use the dollar session variable system date and the exchange rate type is M. If we have an error I set the result to null. Then I give a name for the new column. I take here price US dollars. Okay, then I have to cast these uh, strings. I have to cast the US dollar as ABAP uh, currency key. And I have to cast the session variable to the to ABAP dot dots. Then I format my code and I activate the code. So let's browse the data with open with data preview. And we see here the currency US dollar is converted to US dollar. So euros for example to US dollar. If the currency is US dollar, the source currency, then no conversion is done and so on. So the data is stored, the conversion data is stored in the table tcur. So let's browse the data here. So we need uh, current uh, information here, current data that we can convert the currencies. And we see here we, the function uses this data from this table. Then we can uh, display another column, I call it US dollar and we display here US dollars so that we know our uh, target currency. Next I display the column seats max and here I pretend that the maximum seats are now miles so that I can show the conversion, the unit conversion from miles to kilometers here I have to pass the quantity and here I paste the column seats max. So then we need, a, we need a source unit. Here I pretend that the data in seats max are miles and my target unit should be kilometers. And error handling again. If there is an error I set the result to null. Then the column name. I name it distance kilometer and here again I have to do a cast but first let's uh, display another kilometer column and then we have to do the cast. I cast here the string miles as abap.unit and the same for the value kilometers. So let's activate the code and display the data. We see here the pretend miles and the converted and they are converted to kilometers. We see here lots of decimal places. So we can round this uh, values or we can cut it. So let's 
cut the decimal places with the function floor and I use the function floor and I set the unit conversion into brackets. So let's the preview the data and we see now the conversion is done without any decimal places. And if you want to know which units you can use, this information is stored in the table T006. So let's browse this table and the data in it. So I type here the table name T006. And we see here the different units, the descriptions, the name of the units and some more information, some more data. And these units you can use to for the conversion, for example. Yes, if you like my videos, subscribe to my channel and give me a thumbs up. I'm always happy to get a few likes. Also write something in the comments. I always like to read them and I also reply to them. Take care and see you in the next video.